The PLP lost the general elections of the Bahamas again in 1997, and it was at that time the Right Honorable Sir Lyndon Oscar Pendling decided to end his political career and to retire. But we went into the 97 elections, and Sir Lyndon Pendling again led the party into those elections, and we lost again Ingram's second term. And the, the reality was that in July of that year, Sir Lyndon announced in Parliament his resignation from public life. But alas, Madam Speaker, it is time now to close the book and say goodbye. As I look around this chamber for the last time, you will indulge me if I say that I see before me not only the faces of honorable members here assembled, but the faces of all those friends and foes who at various times over the past 40 years lay claim to the high honor of representing some section of the Bahamian people in this ancient and honorable assembly. God always knows what he's doing. And he gave this man an opportunity, not by choice, but just literally forced him out and gave him a time to spend with his grandchildren, to spend these last years with his children, with his wife, to be able to look over uh, uh, the, the growth and development of a country that he's literally had personal responsibility for for more than two decades. I'll tell you something. Just before um, Sir Lyndon resigned, he came to me, he called me up on the telephone one Sunday afternoon from the office, and he said, Perry, I'd like to meet with you. I said, I'll come to you, sir. I'll come. He said, no, Perry, I want to come to you. After some protestations on my part, I said, okay. And he came to my home and he sat on the sofa with me and he said to me, Perry, I don't have much in life. Now this is the man who had been taken before two commission of inquiries as to an accumulation of wealth. And he was talking to me in the stillness of my home almost hearing the heart beats and saying, I want you to promise me something. I don't have much. I'm not gonna be able to leave Marguerite, my wife, in the position a man would want to leave his wife in. He spoken to me about whether or not I could assist in getting someone who owned neighboring property to give him access from a, a cul-de-sac, a dead end, into his property, so he could therefore cut off the bottom of it and sell it because, and, and the person was refusing, and we spoke about that, and then he said to me, you know, Perry, um, one day you're gonna be prime minister, and I want you to do what you can to assist my wife. And a lady whose fortitude in the face of the most daunting and whose unwavering devotion to me and what I stood for contributed mightily to my survival and my successes in politics. When I became Prime Minister, the lawyers advised me that Sir Lyndon was entitled to monies that had not been given to him. And we were able then to retroactively use that as a legal entitlement to make up for that with Lady Pinling. 